Fish. Big one. Big one. Big one. Big one. What's up everybody, Colin Jay here and welcome back to the channel. We have about one hour until it gets dark and so we are about to make the most of it. Yes we are. Okay, so <laughs> while we only have about an hour of light left, we decided that we were each gonna grab one rod, one rod and uh, we were each gonna select one bait. So I selected a chatterbait to throw for one hour and Jessica selected a swim bait. A swim bait. So we decided we'd make this like a little challenge, not like a challenge like me versus Jay, but bait versus bait. So it's me chatterbait versus swim bait. We got one hour, we're gonna rig our GoPros up, we're gonna take one battery out there, and we're basically just gonna fish till they die. All right, so let's push the kayaks in, let's get out there, let's see how many fish we can catch in an hour. Let's see which bait catches the most fish. You ready? I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. We're going fishing. Backlash on the first cast. Way to go, Jay. Way to, oh gosh. I hit some grass and it uh, it rocked my world. I don't know if we're gonna catch the thing or not. We're, we're out here. We're doing the one hour chatterbait versus swim bait challenge. We literally, we literally brought one rod each. And uh, I've got the chatterbait. Jay's throwing the swim bait. I got a fish. 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 Holy crap. That's like my second cast. Get in here. Whoa. Yeah. It's not a big one. They're here. They're here. Woo. Look at that. First fish of the day. Heck yeah. Okay. One nothing, Jay. Oh, did you get lit? Wow, they dropped so much water out of here. Look at all you can see every, oh, yeah, stump. You can see every stump. Wow. They've literally dropped the water level like two feet in two days. It's not warm out here. It was kind of warm a couple days ago. Um, but now the temperature's dropped and it's actually just gonna get colder as the front passes through. It's it's gonna get uh, really cold actually. Not really looking forward to it. And I'm hoping it's the grand finale of winter. That's what we're all hoping for around here. Got one? Oh, that was a big one. Are you serious? Oh my gosh, you got smoked. What happened? Oh gosh. Maybe you jacked him too hard. I don't know. That's sad. I'm sorry that happened to you, Jay. Probably five pounder. The biggest fish move up first. This little stump flat is just like a little halfway point. There's all sorts of submerged vegetation out here too. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Fish, big one, 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 Look at that, did you get a bite too? Look at that, freaking stroked that chatterbait, dude. He's got bug eyes, I'm not sure if that's where I hooked him at, let's get him a hung, no? Oh. He's got spots on him. He's got spots and he's bug-eyed. I kind of slowed that down just a little bit. Oh, look at that bass. A three pounder. Nice, nice, nice. It did, it did, okay. I'll get you back in the water, buddy. Well, that felt good. Okay, see ya, I love you. 
Okay, that's two fish. Okay, we've gotten three bites now. <sighs> okay, I'm just throwing this regular Z-Man original chatterbait. This is like the most basic chatterbait that Z-Man makes. It's one of my favorite ones. And uh, on the back, I have a, I have a, what is this? <laughs> I can't even think. It's a Havoc, Berkeley Havoc Devil Spear. This is actually my favorite chatterbait trailer of all time. And uh, it's unfortunate that they are discontinued, but I'm, I'm happy to say that I have maybe a lifetime supply of these hanging in our bedroom. Like, I don't even like to throw a chatterbait unless I have this on there as a trailer. Especially when I'm trying to imic, imic, mim, imic. Especially when I'm trying to imitate a bluegill or something. Oh, ooh. I kind of slowed my retrieve down at first. I was just really hype and I was reeling it in, I think, way too fast. <laughs> even though I did catch that smaller one. The thing about chatterbait is you want to be in control. I mean, the bait's already doing so much for you. It's already vibrating and pulsing and your tra trailer's doing all sorts of work for you, but if you can just add a little bit more action to it, make all the difference. If I ever feel anything funny, I'm swinging. Hook sets are free. But if I'm slack, oh, oh. Oh, <laughs> I thought Jay had just hooked up with a, with a big one. I thought she hooked up with the new lake record just then. She set the hook and it, everything just stopped. Wow, what a hook set. I can, I can feel, I can feel the tension that she is, you know, a little upset about missing a couple of fish and uh, losing that nine pounder a minute ago. But she, she made sure that her hook was sharp right here. Nice. Here, I'm gonna put you right up on a fish. I see the money spot, that big stump right there with that grass. You know, if there wasn't so much submerged vegetation. Got him, begging. Oh my gosh, Jessica. What is going on? Wow, that was a good one. Right, we're right in the spot. I told you there's a fish here. It's right there. What's I'm, going on? How big was that one, 10 pounds? For real, what's going on? Was that one a 10? Dang. Okay, so Jay's had three for sure bites, had two good bites. How big was that one, you think? A four pounder? Did you see his belly? I just saw the swirl. Like a three, a three pounder? Oh, two for sure good bites. And uh, I've had two bites with one good fish. So I'd say that the chatterbait and the swim bait are equally matched, it's just, Oh, I missed him! No! That was a little, that was a little fish. I think he got my tail. He got my tail, and I only brought one more tail. No. Has it, oh no. You brought one more? Yeah. Uh, yeah, at least you got a pack of swim baits in there too. There's one for you. Dang it! I felt him. I felt him literally eat my tail off. Okay, I got a different tail. It's a different color. It's kind of a random color. Not really random. I like this color also. But this is red bug. A red bug devil spear. It's just a dark color. It's kind of cloudy. I'm sure it'll help stand out. It's better than not having a trailer. Like if you're gonna throw a chatterbait without a trailer, just don't even throw it. Dang it! How's that look? Looks good. Just looks like green pumpkin. Only red. As I was saying, I was literally saying it was coming down to angler performance, not not bait performance. And then I missed one. Got him. There he is. There he is. There he is. There he is, Jay. Woo! Sling him up on here. Woohoo! Finally! Here, let me get up here and show the people what you got since your GoPro is kind of froze up. I finally got a bit. Finally, I thought you got bit on that cast before. Nice. Woo. You stroked him. He was all up in that stump, and you just yanked him out of there like a boss. Whew. Nice one. Whew. All right, so broke the ice for me. Yep. So Jay's landed one. I've landed two. You've had like four bites. I've had three bites. I've had three bites. So it's pretty even. This one bait's getting a little bit more attention. 
Got him. Jay's hooked up. Get one? Yeah. Get one? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so big. I'm gonna get my bait reeled in. Dang, you're getting tore up on that swim bait. Can't see him. Nice one. I thought he was a lot bigger than that. Also, oh yeah, a big one for sure. All right, we're tied up. She's gotten way more bites than I have though. We're both using braided line just to really slice through this grass. Sometimes when the water gets a little bit more clear, we have to resort back to fluorocarbon. But braids normally, it's, I mean, it's, it's an essential when we're fishing all this heavy grass. And it's just going to get thicker and thicker as the season moves on forward. You got a fish? You got a fish? You got a fish? I told you it was <laughs> Jay's got a third fish. Oh gosh. That's a five bass limit. That's a five bass limit? Woo! For about five pounds. Eight pounds. About eight pounds. We got four fish that are about a pound, <laughs> pound and a quarter and one three pounder. <laughs> about eight pounds. Am I in the lead now? I guess so. You caught three fish. You've gotten way more bites than I have. I told you it was done though. That was it. Got dark. It's gotten a little bit cooler. I'm sure these bass fed all day. It's been cloudy. They kind of insulative temperature, a stable a stable temperature. I think that stability and temperature is a big deal. Is a big deal, even though it's cooler than it was a couple of days ago. It hasn't been like a drastic change. It wasn't like any sort of massive front or anything. <clears throat> But when it comes this weekend, it's gonna be horrible. Can't wait to endure that. Well, it got dark on us and uh, my GoPro died. So that's the end of that fishing mission. <laughs> and my GoPro was frozen the whole time. So yeah, I dumb. don't think it recorded anything. Yeah, but luckily I had mine rolling. I think we captured Jay's catches and her misses when she missed that nine pounder, that two nine pounders. Don't remind me. She missed about, she missed about 30 pounds of bass today. <laughs> No, but it was it was very obvious. Well, it was made clear to us that those bass were definitely keying in on the swim bait bite more than that chatter bait, which was kind of surprising to me because usually when the water temp is in that high 40s, low 50s, they can they get pretty dialed in on that chatter bait. But I guess there was just something about the subtleness of the swim bait that they were just that they were just they were dialed just in. They were just munching it. I think how many bites did you get? Six? I seven? think it's six or seven. Six or seven, you caught three? Mm -hmm. Yeah, she caught there. I got three bites. One more than you. <laughs> yeah, but Jay got all those bites on the swim bait, whereas I only got those three bites on the chatter bait. So the swim bait won today's one hour fishing lure challenge. And the swim bait that I was throwing was the Berkeley Power Bait Grass Pig. Yes, it's and delicious. And I was throwing it in my favorite color called Swamp Gas. And looks like I actually need to get some more. I'm almost <laughs> out. But yeah, these things are deadly. Yeah. So both of the lures we were throwing were imitating bluegill and in the pre-spawn all the fish they move all the bass they move up into these shallow areas and they just start trying to destroy every sort of sunfish that they can because they don't want them getting into their nest. It's just something that bass do and it's it's awesome when they get on that bluegill color pattern bite. And then as for gear, both of us were throwing extra heavy and heavy powered rods. They're six cents lux rods. We've been throwing those a lot recently. Hers was the seven two extra heavy. I was on seven six heavy. Both spooled up. Both of our reels are spooled up with 50 pound braid just slicing through that grass. And our gear played a vital role in us landing some of these fish this afternoon. So we'll leave a link in our video description to the exact rods and reels and lures and line if you're into that and you wanna check that out for yourself. So we're signing out. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you would like to see any more of these head to head lures challenges let us know in the comments section and if you enjoyed today's video hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so you can keep up with all of our future outdoor adventures we're, we're calling jay and we'll catch you on the next episode peace, peace.